morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing? It's Friday, and I wouldn't even worry about the date. It's Friday the 13th. But I want to encourage you that if you don't have a church, find a church. It will encourage your heart. And uh, this weekend, I'm, I'm preaching in Nest City at Generations Church with the Pars, Randy and Lisa Parr. I'm excited to be there. They, they were missionaries and I remember them and I get the privilege of preaching for them when when they were missionaries they preached for me so it's it's amazing that times have changed just a bit and um, so I am blessed and so today our focus is blessing and favor on our marriage and family marriage and family this is really important to me, marriage and family. Uh, I have one. I have a, I'm married to a wonderful wife, godly wife, and I have two uh, lovely daughters, and I have a great son-in-law. And so I'm, I am blessed. So uh, I think of this verse. I think of these, um, these passage scriptures, and I think about all the different weddings I've done and different marriages and, and even during this time that families struggle and marriages struggle. So listen to some of these passages of scriptures. Um, 1 Peter 3, 7, Likewise, husband, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to your woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that you your prayers may not be hindered. Husbands, love your wives. And there's a verse in the past that love your wives as Christ loves the church. You should always, always. And it's so important to, to love your wives. It's important to love your children. It's, they, both are a blessing. And I, and I know that, uh, and you're like, well, where, what about the wife? It, goes the same way um, and just want to encourage you that that's so important um, Ecclesiastes 4 9 through 12 two are better than one because they are have a good reward for their toil for if they fall one will lift up his fellow, but woe to the one who is alone when he falls, he has no no other one to lift them up. Again, if two lie together, they will keep warm, but one cannot keep warm alone. And though a man might prevail one against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A three-fold cord is not quickly broken. Just want to encourage you um, that, that you... You know, the family is such a, a strong unit. And so I just want to encourage you that remember that. So really short verse, but just encourage you. Marriage and family is so important. I'm going to pray, pray a blessing over your family as I pray a blessing over mine. And I uh, encourage you on this weekend. Have a great weekend. There's still, if you downloaded the PDF, you'll know that there's more to pray every day for the next 21 days. Lord, I thank you so much. Thank you for every marriage and family that is represented in those that are joining in. I pray a blessing over their marriages. But if they're single and they have kids, I pray a blessing over their families. I pray that you just meet them right where they're at. I pray for Gloriana. And I pray for Abigail and Christian. I pray that you bless their lives. I pray for, over my wife. I pray that you just be with her today. I pray a blessing over her and what a godly woman she is. I thank you for her being my helpmate. I thank you for her. I pray over those that are sick. I pray that you heal their bodies. I pray for those that are well, that you keep them well. I pray over our government, that you give them wisdom. I pray over the economy, that you turn around. I pray for those that are in need, that you provide for them. I pray that you help us to be a blessing. I pray that, Lord Jesus, that you just um, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. In your name.
God bless you guys. Next week, we'll talk about spiritual power. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. God bless you.